Madonna, the iconic queen of pop, has long been synonymous with a lifestyle that exudes creativity, reinvention, and an unapologetic pursuit of individuality. Born Madonna Louise Chacon on August 16, 1958 in Bay City, Michigan, she has become one of the most influential and successful musicians in the world. Madonna's lifestyle reflects her multifaceted career and success. As a singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman, she's consistently pushed boundaries redefining the music and entertainment industry. When it comes to where she lives, Madonna is known for her diverse real estate that spans the globe. One of her notable residences is her home in the UK, a historic Georgian townhouse in London, and Madonna also has a lifelong connection with the vibrant city of New York. Over the years, she lived in a few properties here, including her grand, long-time residence she still owns today. But before she was a household name, Madonna lived in a basic apartment in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Madonna's also immersed herself in the charm of Portugal. In recent years, she's established a presence in Lisbon, the capital city, and has been actively involved in the local arts and culture scene. This move reflects her wanderlust and her ability to find inspiration in different corners of the world. Hey everyone, it's Kara, and if you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, check out my DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you guys on performed at a New York City club in 1982 with nothing more than a dollar and a dream. After leaving the stage, she retreated to her first apartment on the Lower East Side. This place has been renovated since then, of course, but these days it boasts two bedrooms, a modest kitchen, and a small bathroom with a shower. Madonna claimed that when she moved from Michigan to the East Village of New York City in the late 70s, she only had $35 in her pocket. To make ends meet, she took on a handful of jobs, including one at Dunkin' Donuts in Times Square and posing nude for an art class. Dunkin' Donuts fired her for reportedly squirting donut jelly in a customer's face. Well, back to this apartment. At 232 East 4th Street in Alphabet City, the East Village, Madonna occupied a fourth floor walk-up flat, which was her first true residence. In this section of Manhattan, the building is situated nearly as far east as it gets between avenues A and B. This was a no man's land for punk rock, drugs, and street crime in the late 1970s, but it's what Madonna could afford at the time. In Life with My Sister, Madonna, her brother Christopher, described her former East Village flat as two small rooms, no furniture except a big white futon, and a perpetually hissing radiator. In Madonna, a biography written by Mary Cross, it was said, Madonna claimed she existed during this time on popcorn, donuts, and yogurt, with forays into dumpsters for whatever she could scrounge. Her father came to visit, but was so upset by her living conditions, a roach motel, he called it, that he pleaded with her to come home. Madonna was later discovered sitting on a stoop outside. She told VH1 that a photographer walked down the street and asked to take her photo, got her number, and called her back a couple of days later. Turns out his mom was a casting director with Martin Scorsese, and she was also good friends with Barbara Streisand. The connection led Madonna to audition for the movie Desperately Seeking Susan, which she landed. It also featured her dance song Into the Groove, and shortly after, her debut album was released. The rest is history. These days, Madonna's living situation in New York is very different. Pop Queen has owned this stunning townhouse since 2009, which is more like a mega mansion. In the lavish Upper East Side neighborhood, there's an unassuming block on 81st Street, but if you look a little closer, you'll see a wall. This 10 foot tall black wall mounted with metal points shields Madonna's hybrid mansion, three red brick townhomes that were seamlessly merged to form a single property. 
After purchasing one home, Madonna snatched up two neighboring houses to create her supersized dream home, which would now probably be valued at about $40 million or more. This massive 26 room Georgian style home has remnants of a London townhouse and boasts 12,000 square feet of space over four floors. It's famous for its 57 foot width, making it one of the widest houses or structures in this area. There are 13 bedrooms, countless bathrooms, 11 foot ceilings, and nine fireplaces throughout. Some interior highlights include a large drawing room with tall windows overlooking the garden, a king size library, panel dining room, Georgian staircase and elevator. There's also an outstanding kitchen with chef grade appliances while the soaring ceilings throughout contribute to the grandness. The mansion boasts more than one garden, including one on the roof, and the main garden covers an impressive 3,000 square feet. A portion of the home functions as a guest house or staff quarters with its own entryway, and there's even a double car garage. Madonna's New York City home is still a dwelling where she spends a lot of her time, and last year during her recent illness, she was actually recouping here with her family afterwards. It's located a few blocks from Central Park and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. In June 2023, Madonna successfully flipped her Los Angeles compound for a very pretty penny. The Queen of Pop listed her three-acre mansion in LA's gated Hidden Hills community in spring 2022 for a whopping $25.9 million. The initial asking price was knocked down to $23.5 million, and she soon after found a taker for $23 million. This was still a 3.7 million profit for the singer, considering she paid Canadian artist The Weeknd $19.3 million for the 12,000 square foot home back in April 2021. Let's take a look. With a main residence plus a guest house totaling over 12,500 square feet, this magnificent estate is sitting on a nearly three acre plot. There are two half baths, nine full bathrooms, and nine bedrooms overall. The star where the estate is accessed through a gated driveway. Upon entering, you're greeted by a double height entryway with a floating staircase. With a lot of white walls and hardwood flooring, the mansion's interiors are mostly modern and fresh. The dining room features a showy wine room with bespoke LED lights, and the formal living room leads to the back of the home. Madonna's kitchen here was spacious with two waterfall style islands, top-notch appliances, and a breakfast nook right next to it all. The family area features a wall of glass that joins the covered outdoor patio with the inside space. A staff wing, a sizable guest suite, a home gym, a movie room, and an office with a black marble fireplace are also located on the main floor. On the second story of the mansion, Madonna's one-time master bedroom retreat has its own wing with a polished stone fireplace. There's also two walk-in closets that are fitted in an opulent bathroom. Additionally, the master suite features a private patio with a view of the backyard. Stepping outside, you'll find a zero wedge pool and spa along with an open air pavilion, including an outdoor kitchen and fireplace. Two of the bedrooms are available in the separate guest house, although it's not the only outbuilding on the grounds. The elegant five car garage might function as an at home nightclub because of the violet LED lighting. And there's a horse barn that's been converted into another adaptable living area. There's a full size outdoor basketball court and another shaded patio next to the pool house. Apart from these homes, Madonna also continues to own a 30 acre horse farm in the Hamptons and reportedly a historic estate in Lisbon, Portugal. In Portugal, Madonna found a retreat a few years ago in the vibrant city of Lisbon. Her presence in the picturesque capital has been marked by an authentic embrace of their local culture. Now, one of her notable properties here is a historic mansion, reflecting the charm of Lisbon's architectural heritage. Set in the scenic landscapes, this home offers Madonna an escape from the hustle and bustle of her global career. Reports suggest that Madonna's move to Portugal was inspired by her son's passion for soccer, as he joined the youth academy of a prominent football club in the country. Madonna's Lisbon residence has not only become a personal haven, but also a place where she can get creative. The Queen of Pop has been actively involved in Lisbon's artistic community, fostering connections with local musicians and artists. 
after checking out Madonna's homes across the globe that will bring today's house tour to a close. As an artist who's continually reinvented herself, Madonna's lifestyle mirrors her ever-evolving creative spirit. Her homes serve as both sanctuaries for personal reflection and canvases for expressing her unique vision. Madonna's journey shows the power of self-expression and the ability to shape one's own narrative in a world that constantly evolves. Before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. Which European country would you most like to immerse yourself in or live at and why? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.